This is the rapper or whatever his name is. And then I think this one's like his sister or something like that. I can go. I'm ready now. I'm all the way ready. Cause I'm tired, bro. Tired, bro. He's got a warrant for homicide. That's what. Hey, so hey, you dog. need to back up for me. Court. All your court information. Court date's gonna be right on top of here. Mm -hmm. If not, just call the number right here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Take care. Take care of it online over the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I did for you, I'll give you until June the 21st. Take care of it, so I gave you some time. So. He's from. I don't know. I never heard of him. Yo, he's new rap. He's from. He gave me like 100 people. We arrested 11 of them. She's one of the 11. And uh, I guess they're ready to go down their lives for him. I don't know who he is. Whatever. Hey, but he thinks, he thinks he's something, so, you know, be ready for it. When I got there, I'm like, yeah, I know who this is. I was listening to his album yesterday. <laughs> his album just dropped on Friday. Rappers often make headlines with their controversial lyrics and viral moments. But what happens when these music icons are stopped by the police? In today's episode of Audit Oblivion, we explore high-profile police encounters involving famous rappers. These incidents reveal how different artists handle intense police scrutiny. I don't know about you, but I find it fascinating to observe these interactions and consider whether bias plays a role when officers recognize a celebrity. On June 12, 2021, rapper Polo G was arrested in Miami following his album release party. The incident occurred after a traffic stop while Polo G whose real name is Taurus Bartlett, was traveling in a car with his family members in security. The charges against him included battery on a police officer, resisting arrest with violence, and criminal mischief. During the arrest, Polo G's behavior in the back of the police car was notably arrogant and obnoxious. He attempted to belittle the officer by asking if he had bought his mother a house, a remark that highlighted his defiance and the tension during the encounter. Yo! Yo! Gee, you got the armor? Stop, stop, stop. You broke as hell, I definitely Oh, here you go about the broke and about the money. Oh my god. Broski, you broke. I'm just saying, you got $10,000 in your bank account right now. You got $10,000 in your bank account? I'm just saying, broke as if you die, right? Now, go what could you give your kid? Broski, you broke as hell, I definitely want to see you in jail. You broke as hell, I definitely want to see you in jail. You broke as hell, I definitely want to have you ever bought your mama anything? Yeah, Mother's did Day. Did you buy your mama a car? Did you buy your mama a house? I did that. I did both of those. Was it good for you, bro? You I'm never glad you did that. Ever in life. I would love to do that one day. You would love to do it, but you never will. And what is that supposed to make me feel like? A less of a man than you are? Yes, that's oh. supposed to make you feel like less of a man. So what I got to do? I got to be a rapper? But I do provide. I do. Proud. I do. I just don't know how to sing like you. You talk about, I don't know, you don't know how to sing. I don't. You can know how to be a man. You can know how to box. You can know how to play baseball. Do you, you box? Want to be a police officer. You box? You want, you want to be a police officer? So I'm supposed, to be, so I'm supposed to be a professional boxer, like a champion boxer to make, to make like, millions of dollars? Sorry, man, I don't, I don't have the skill for that. You could have been a doctor. A How come you didn't become a doctor? You chose to be a police officer. How come you didn't become a doctor? I just asked you, do you got I make a, I make an honor. I make an honest what have living. You invested in, bro. So do you even got any money in stocks, Bitcoin, anything? What could you get to your kids? You don't have shit. You broke, bro. Polo G's remarks during his arrest were not just an attempt to assert dominance and challenge authority. They also came across as ignorant and childish. By belittling the officer with questions about whether the officer has $10,000 in his bank account, Polo G displayed a lack of respect and a sense of entitlement. Furthermore, the rapper criticized the officer's career choices, suggesting he could have been a doctor instead. These comments reveal a genuine disconnect between the rapper's perception of success and the realities of daily struggles. This arrogance could stem from Polo G's disconnect from reality. Chances are his fame and wealth create a bubble that distorts his understanding of everyday struggles and responsibilities. I'm telling you what's real. What could you, if you, if you die right now, only thing they can say is he was a good officer. That's enough for me. That's not enough for your kids though, bro. That's why your kids are trying to struggle through the day to day because you know you risk your life every day in this job, right? So a nigga kill you dead and, 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 and your kids gotta live with the fact they pops was a fucking loser. Cause he what? never had no money and now they, you dead and gone. Nah, my, and my son will be and, proud of me, bro. And it ain't nothing that you could do He'll be proud of me. He'll be proud of me. What could you do for them in the afterlife? My kids are proud of me. 
They would they 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 probably be a fucking lenient on you because you know they father. Nah, they'll they be proud of me. About it, they gonna be like, damn, my I mean, like my daddy was a hero. My daddy was a they hero. Think like my pops was a bitch. Nah, I would have maybe, maybe your kids. Maybe yours. Down with a vest on. Maybe yours, not mine. I also think my, my daddy was a hero. Man, not, not, not my kids. Well, maybe, maybe that's yours. Yeah. Mine would I think I, mine's a hero. On my son on day. Oh, and, and how much time you spend with him? How much how much time you spend with him? How many time how much time you spend with him? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Do you spend you do? That's a good thing. Damn, good job. Good job. My son at right good job. Now, Where? Where? My son in Miami. Money don't make I told you, man, money don't make the worth of a man. But I'm just saying, do you got five thousand? Do you got five thousand? Money don't make the worth of a man, bro. That's how you know you're still a kid. You still a kid. You really that broke? I'm still a kid. Okay, look. I'm still a kid, but my yeah. body's straighter than yours to be able to take care of my family. You just, bro. Because, I because you're, your you just, man. just because you're a singer, you think you're like a, such a huge contribution to society, bro? Because you're a singer? How do you know that I sing? Bro, because you're a little rapper, right? No, I'm just saying, how do you know that I sing? Are you a fan? No, because all these people were saying it, bro. I don't even know who you are, dog. I really don't. I really don't, bro. I really don't. You must not be that famous. Trust me, half of them, half of them did it. Half of them did it. don't know me and I still made $10 million. Good for you. But, how much money did you but make? does that make you a great man? How much That just makes you a man who made money. You know how many, you know how many, you know how many. been in the field? What? what have you did to showcase your bravery but put a bag in a vessel? What have what you have done? You what have you done? What have you done? I did a lot. I chased my dream and made millions. That's, That's great. Good job. I chased my dream. My dream was to be a police officer you and I did it. Yeah. Broke. That's a facade. It isn't. You brainwashed. Oh. I you think you're brainwashed. I think you're probably brain, brainwashed. You think you're protecting and serving? How many people you saved from dying? A bunch. You ain't never saved nobody from dying a because bunch. The, the, the murder rate in, 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 in Miami is outstanding. And you think that's our fault? You ain't never saved nobody. You know, you know how? Because you know what? The media don't like to put yeah, all the, all the times that we do that we do that we do good for people. How many, stop, how many blocks you went on and told the people to stop the violence, stop the killing? What? You ain't never did that. What did you say? What did you say? Pulling the trigger. Oh, so shit. The fuck? You, you know why? You know why I worked for almost four years? I worked in overtime, buddy. Man, you worked in overtime to still be broke. How, See, oh, how, again, back, uh, again, back about the being broke stuff. How's that benefiting you? It, it's it's an honorable, it's an honorable living, my man. It's an I honorable living. It's an honorable living. Polo G is clearly triggered and doesn't know when to stop. They say I'm a real one since I made it out the trenches. But real strength comes from wisdom, not wealth. I'm uh, bro, that's great. I'm smarter than you. I look better than you, and I got more money. That's, bro, you're like a little kid. I'm smarter than you. I look better than you. Bro, like, like you're like a little kid, bro. Are you serious? I bet you I can. I'm smarter than you. Me, I look better than you. Instagram. Bro, you got eight Call pluses, bro. Tell, shut up. Tell me your bitch Instagram. My girl don't got Instagram, bro. That's not that new age stuff. Tell me on Facebook or Twitter. I bet you I bag your bitch. I Reflecting on your own words from Through the Storm, quote, the same ones who doubted me, the same ones who proud of me. It's essential to rise above and show true character. Polo G is still a young man with a lot to learn about life. Let's hope as he matures, his perception of reality will shift and he'll gain a deeper understanding of respect and responsibility. We're going to tear that up. Okay? We're going to tear that up. First, let us out handcuffed. Guess who we attack? We're going to tear that up. They're going to have to I swear to God, because I'm tired, bro. On July 12th, 2022, rapper Boozy Badaz, formerly known as Lil Boozy, was detained during a traffic stop in Georgia. The police stopped the vehicle Boozy was a passenger in due to heavily tinted windows and concealed tags. During the stop, officers claimed they smelled marijuana, which led to a search of the vehicle. They found a bag of weed and a large sum of cash, resulting in both Boozy and the driver, Deshaun Lawrence, being handcuffed and detained. Hey, step out for me real quick. He's gonna be detained for now, okay? All right, real quick. All right, is there weapons on you? Knives, guns, drugs, any marijuana? Alright, is there any marijuana in there? I'm getting a strong odor of it. Okay. Stand back here, man. Alright, is 
any marijuana in that car, man, or any other drug? Nah, but I'm smoking the blunt, bro. Like, I'm... Okay. Bro, uh, you're good. I got you. As long as you're honest with me, I'm honest with you, okay? I can't by? keep going through this, bro, bro. Like, I... I... I well, just can't, bro. I can't, bro. I can't, bro. I don't do no wrong. I don't Marijuana. do shit, bro. It's illegal to sit in court, bro. Bro, like, bro, I gotta go to y'all superior and file charges. Mr. Boozy, whose real name is Torrance Hatch, initially remained calm, adamant that he had done nothing wrong. However, this composure quickly gave way to an explosive outburst. During the incident, Hatch lashed out at the officers, cursing them and railing against the systemic issues he feels target him. He expressed a deep frustration with the system, claiming he was ready to end it all because he was tired of the way the system targets him. For context, Mr. Hatch has a substantial criminal record including charges related to firearms, drugs, and alleged gang affiliations. I'm ready now. I'm all the way ready. Because I'm tired, bro. I'm tired, bro. I'm going to tell everybody I don't hit that, bro. I'm going to spit on every nurse in that bitch. I'm going to make you charge me. I'm going to show you how I get down when I get locked up. I'm going to show you how I get down. I'm going to make them bitches whoop me. They going to get a charge. I'm going to make them whoop me. Hatch claims that he is exhausted by the systemic racism that continually targets him, declaring he will push back as hard as he has pushed. He emphasized his readiness to fight fire with fire, showcasing his determination to resist what he perceives as an unjust system. Throughout the encounter, Hatch made several derogatory remarks, too explicit to repeat here, clearly illustrating his profound frustration. This traffic stop seemed to be the proverbial final straw that broke the camel's back, igniting an intense and emotional outburst from the rapper. I'm with that meat on they neck. I'm going to show you I'm coming with that diabetic. Hundred miles an hour. Yeah, now hand me my f***ing meat. When you take me, man. Hand me my mother f***ing meat. I'm going to get ignorant, I'm going to get ignorant with you. I'm gonna punch on the first white boy I see in that bitch. I swear I'm going on my damn break. Any nurse, I'm gonna spit on that bitch. I ain't playing. Watch out, bro. Watch out, shine in this bitch. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I bet I get him on the floor. I'm gonna get him on the floor. I'm ready. Nah, I'm ready to go to jail. I'm ready to go by. You can go and take me. You can go and ride me out. You can go and ride me out. I'm used to this Where I'm from. Pull me up. I got 39 red. I don't give a I don't give a Leave that. Every day I get a Man, I'm tired of it. I moved out here. I moved out here. I'm ready. 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 I'm 
When officers discover some pills in the car, Mr. Boozy claims that they are contraception pills for his concubines. It is evident that this stop has really got under his skin. Birth control pills or something for my You know, can't get pregnant from me. Yeah, I got a lot of whole in my house right now. Huh? Yeah. I got like 35 whole in my house right now. If anybody wants they let me know. See, I, I could fight. I would throw them in the office. All they need to do is take off their bag and they gun. And I'm going to throw them with you in the parking lot. I'm like that, man. I moved out here for training. I'm going to sell my shit. Don't f with it. I know exactly how much I got. Don't f with it. Put my shit on the seat, dog. That's my bond money. Don't f with it. And I got receipts for it. I just left the bank. I got another cashier checking the side that door. There's a cashier checking the side that door also for a large amount of money. Please don't f with it. Right now, I swear to God, I'm a f on it. Follow me. Put your phone up, follow me. Mr. Boozy claims that the police are targeting his vehicle, but just moments earlier, he was boasting about his impressive list of charges. Mr. Boozy, while expressing his exhaustion with the law, seems to find himself in these situations repeatedly. This incident appears to be just one in a long line, suggesting that a leopard can't change its spots. So what, what, would you, what did you stop us for? I stopped you for the tag. What's wrong with the tag? It says 705. Correct, but you can't see the letters 50 feet from the rear, which is the state of Georgia and state law. What, what letters? What letters? You see the numbers. You can't see that 50 feet from the rear. Alright, so, just listen. This is what we're gonna do. That's a license plate. Listen. This is what you're Alright. I'm gonna give you the citation for the marijuana. Alright? For the smell of marijuana. No, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calms on the floorboard. There's, there's some bags, there's two bags, all right? I'm gonna give you um, a citation for less than and that's it, all right? I'm gonna let y'all be on about your business. I just need y'all to relax, man, okay? All right, bro. I got you, I got you. You let me go, just let me go. I'm going, I'm going to file charges right now. Mr. Boozy's driver took both citations for possession of marijuana and improper tags. The pair went on about their business. Huh? Man, you know, you know why I pull you open up these windows? They tinted. You can't see nothing out. I'm a celebrity, man. Nobody can't see me. Give me my ticket. Let me ride. I don't know what celebrity you are. Don't matter. Give me my ticket. Let me ride. I can't have nobody seeing me right here. I'm gonna let my window open. Oh yeah, you, look, you good, but you can't have that tinted window, man. All right, yeah, give me you the ticket. On May 13th, 2020. Rapper Lil Baby, whose real name is Dominique Armani Jones, was stopped by police due to the illegal tint on his vehicle's windows. The incident drew significant attention, partly due to Lil Baby's calm demeanor. And Let me see how dark these two windows are. They probably be too dark. Zero? Hey, Zero? Yeah. 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 Mr. Jones acknowledged his celebrity status during the stop stating he would rather take the ticket than be seen in Atlanta, likely understanding the risks that come with fame. His concerns are valid. Being a public figure often makes one a target for scrutiny and unwanted attention. 
The police officer issued a citation for the illegal window tints and provided Mr. Jones with additional information about vehicle tint regulations before they parted ways. This incident stood out for its respectful interaction between both parties, showcasing a moment where two individuals were simply trying to go about their day without escalating the situation. All right, all right Mr. Jones, so you did get a ticket, all right? You can't have the tint in the front, man. You can't have it on here. It's 32 percent. 32 percent is the legal limit. Uh, anything below 32, you know, it's illegal. Okay, so that's why I pulled you over in the first place. Right. Um, your court date is going to be uh, July 9th, 2020 at 8 o'clock in the morning. No, nah, not yet. But when it comes to July 9th, they'll probably be open. If not, now they'll... give folk a ticket, knowing yeah. that the economy down, it, that's shit wrong. Like, all right, come on, my ticket, man. I like it. Appreciate it. Have a good day, who, man. Now, who are you? You said you, uh... You... My name, little baby. Okay, I just need you to sign right here, okay? You got a pen? Right. 827. You don't be want to have it. You got to have a ticket, man. That was default folk crazy. I'd take a ticket, then somebody thought we home. Put it through, too. Huh? Ohio, you can put a 32. If you got a medical yeah. exception, you can, you can, you know, get yeah. the 10. If you got a multi-passenger vehicle, you know what that is? <laughs> it's got to be... Uber or something. It's, no, it's like a... It's like, have you ever seen those Mercedes Benz with, like, 10 or more people? Yeah, Sprinter. Yeah, those can't... Can, we yeah, can't get those 10. I got no Sprinter, too. I ain't know that. But that makes sense. They come like so that. So you can, you can go in the multi per you know, in, in the, the Sprinter things, and you'll be right. fine. But with this... You know, if I, if I get you and I smell some marijuana I, I honestly, and I see you dr uh, drinking and stuff like that, that's a problem. So. I honestly met one of my partners. You my car for a video. I just met him and I go. He just snuck there with you the whole time. He two chairs. I did you got him. You hop right behind. I'm like, I ain't letting nobody use my shit. All right. All right man, Appreciate it.